Welcome everybody back to Boosted Motion guys and today we did a thousand miles on the Ad W1 oil catch can. But before I get into the video guys, watch it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and watch a few other my other videos. But otherwise than that guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so in the previous video I did do an install and unboxing of this Ad W1 oil catch can for the VR30. Now there's two ways you can take a look and see how much oil has been caught in the oil catch can. For some people that's going to ask what is the oil catch can, just check the old video. It's where I talk about what it necessarily does. But just to put it in a quick nutshell, it catches a lot of the blow-by gases with oil that gets back into the intake track, especially that we have a, D, a direct injection motor. Also, for the port injection VQ37s, you should definitely get an oil catch can too. Uh, just check all my links below. Otherwise than that, guys, um, there's two ways to check it. Sorry for the background noise. You have this little dipstick here, right? You can unscrew this dipstick, dipstick which is kind of tight. And remember, I haven't checked it already, so you guys are going to kind of get a first glimpse. All right. Now, it does look a little wet, but I don't see necessarily what the level could be here. There's like little notches, but nothing here says high or low. I would assume this whole stick would get wet. All right. Now, let's tighten that back. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to unscrew this. All right. Now there are, you can also bolt it from the top here with the Allen, with an Allen key set, but I don't have the Allen key on me right now, so of course I can't do that. I gotta do all, every, everything on the hardest end when I'm always cutting my hands and stuff, which you guys are pretty much used to. So anyways, all right, it's almost finished. All right, bear with me guys. This is the longest screw down ever. All right, come on. Almost there, guys. Come on, she likes it. Yeah, I know, they all like it. And boom, get to, I got her pregnant. All right, now let's take a look and see how much we got in here. Wow, wait, hold on, hold on. That is a lot. Whoa, hold on. Let me, because this, this dipstick's in the way. So I'm going to pull the dipstick up, which is going to let it fall. Okay, put the dipstick there. Let's see how much we have caught. This is all on video, guys. This is a thousand miles without me taking, necessarily not taking a look. And it's definitely in a tight spot. Wait, hold on. Whoa, hold on. Get, get me get this out. Give me a second. Ow, and I cut myself. Yep, and that's how you cut yourself, just like that. <sighs> All right, guys, let's take a look. Holy crap. That's no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. That's a thousand miles? No way. This, that cannot be. Guys, take a, yo, take a freaking look at this. Take a look. No way. Wow. All right, so some of my uh, subscribers have stated that um, to see if it's working properly, I have to untighten this to make sure to see if the, 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 the port that gets sucked into uh, intake manifold, which will be this hole, this is the outlet. If the catch can is working properly, this should necessarily be dry. But I would assume it still would have some um, moisture inside of it. So uh, let's just take a quick look and uh, see. All right, so this is going to be the outlet, which goes to the intake manifold itself. Now let's see what we can... Ah! And I cut myself. And... And... It is dry. It is, it is pretty dry in there. It is really dry. Now I know I can't get it on video that much, but it's really dry in there. Like there's nothing in there. Wow, that's, that's insane. Wait, you know what guys, let me do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some paper towel and stick it down in there and see if I could pick up anything. That could work. 
all right guys so i stuck some of the tissue down in here so one video i'm gonna pull it out remember like even though they sponsored me for this video i'm not getting anything back from them so just go check the links below if you really want to purchase this product but from right now it seems like it really works so on video i'm gonna take the tissue out if it's um dark and murky colored on this tissue that means it's uh working i mean it's not working and there's a tiny bit of oil in there a tiny you can see it on the tissue but that's a tiny bit i stuffed all of all the tissue in there as i can that's just basically a tiny bit so i would assume that's still moisture guys some of you guys may say no it's supposed to be clean it's supposed to be nothing moisture could still get in there so that's why i'm not too upset about it because comparing this right this tiny bit of uh oil to how much it caught here um I can I can live with this a little bit amount. So guys, let me just reinstall everything and uh yeah, I gotta dispose of this because you know you guys are eco-friendly, so I'll dispose of this properly. Alright guys, so uh let me just give you a close out. Alright guys, so I <laughs> got a lot of oil within the last thousand miles. But just to give a little bit of a backdrop though, I did about a thousand miles, this is daily driving. Um I don't really beat in a car a lot a lot. But to see this much oil in 1,000 miles, especially when a direct injection car does scare me. Especially that there could be carbon buildup in the future. So I'm very happy that I got this now at about 15,000 miles. And guys, you should definitely get this on your VR30s because we have direct injection cars. Now, port injection, guys, you have a little bit different. It isn't going to be as bad because we'll, we have carbon buildup where it's, where it's really hard to clean it off. But you guys are going to have also... Uh, oil and residue buildup in your intake manifold but because you guys are port injected your the gasoline usually clean the top of your valves the majority of the time but even then it's definitely needed because this can be sucked back into the motor understand a lot of ho high horsepower cars or modified cars on higher levels definitely use old catch cans because the amount of g's they go through and especially that you're going to be having a modified car that oil is going to slush around in the valve cover and that pcv valve can actually turn into a straw depending on your driving conditions where it sucks in the oil so the oil catch can is necessary is actually very necessary very very necessary this is my first time having an oil catch can on any of my cars because i was always opposed to it because i had a v6 and i didn't care but now that i have a new motor and I'm one of the pioneers or one of the people that's involved with um, putting information out. I want to do it right. And yes, this oil catch can definitely does work. Some of you guys would like to see the filtration of the top of the head. But I think this video showed enough. Like literally. It literally showed enough. Guys, you need to get a catch can for your VR30 if you are keeping the car. Some if you got a lease, a lot of people would ask should you still get it. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's a lease. You're giving the car back. But nonetheless... Uh, this was definitely great. Links will be too low to the Ad W1 catch cam. They definitely did sponsor the installation video. This video is just a 1,000 mile review. So you guys can see if you want to purchase it. I'm not getting anything from it. Uh, hopefully, I'll put it on eBay or Amazon soon. Hopefully, I'll put, be able to put that in the description. But regardless, you, got, you have to purchase the catch cam from their site. Otherwise than that, guys, uh, you can contact me at Boost Motion on Instagram and Facebook and Boost Motion on, on uh, gmail.com. Otherwise than that, guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you, guys. You have a good day.